All right, world. Uh, okay, so what am I doing? I'm uh, sound deadening my car right now because I'm upgrading my whole system. Um, shit, upgrading everything, all the highs, all the indoor speakers, the wiring, uh, the amplifier, all my amplifiers uh, at the moment. Uh, I just had the uh, Incriminator Audio 12 in a slot ported enclosure, which was fucking very well built. As a matter of fact, let's see if we can look at it right here. Uh, this doesn't let me switch. Come on, let me switch sides. What a little bastard. Fucking iPhone. Why don't you let me switch sides? Anyway, I'm going to have to turn my phone around. Uh, that's the sub right there. It's the Incriminator, uh, Incriminator Audio. Uh, 12 inch the lethal injection thousand watts RMS. I hope you guys saw that um, Why does it not let me switch to the other side, you know, that's something that doesn't make sense It should let me switch sides. So all right, we're a minute deep into this thing um, Here's the trunk. Here's what's happening Let's open this thing up So here's what's happening. Here's the trunk. I'm not sure how well you guys see this, but this is what I'm going to be treating right now with the uh, stick on uh, material, uh, the insulating material. I think it's pretty damn thick. I'll be busting it out later. Hopefully you guys could see that since uh, this won't let me switch to the front camera. And uh, I'll be with you guys soon. This part of the trunk right here, I'm gonna do that later. That's where I'm getting the most vibrations. I'm gonna leave that till last because I wanna get the sub back in here after I sound in this thing. And I'm doing this as it's getting late in the day after shopping for uh, a couple things that I needed. It really wasn't that much. Um, but yeah, gonna knock this out. I'll take another little video so you guys can see this. And I'm hoping to get my sub box back in here. Then I'll do the top lid of the trunk and uh, that's it for now before I start looking at, uh, I've done a lot of electrical upgrades. Is it the big three? It actually turned to a big four. It might be a big five because I'm gonna further ground the uh, alternator. Um, so I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, so I'm up in here uh, doing this install and uh, I'm in the trunk. So how am I gonna show you guys? Uh, let's see. Let's see, maybe I get out while I'm doing this, but that's how it's coming out. I have to grab more sound deadener, but that's it right there. <clears throat> so you uh, apply this stu stuff down, you use the roller. I'm using a kind of a rubber mallet, not kind of, it is a rubber mallet. And I'm about to do all this top part now, um, but you can see there how it's coming out. I'm enjoying myself, Had a, having a beer here and there while I do this, so it's not so bad. Um, but I've got a lot more to go. Let's figure I'd show a little, little progress, a little progresso for you guys. See y'all in the next one. All right, this is how it's coming out. Uh, wheel well is done. Um, this is where I'm working. That's my little light right there. And this whole back uh, upper portion, this is like uh, bracing all at the back seats. This is where it opens up. You can't really see through it, so it's dark. But you can see that I did all of this up by the speakers. I'm starting to get that panel. But all in all, it's coming out pretty great. This stuff's really easy to work with. Um, this is the uh, let's take a look at what it is because I've been mentioning it quite a few times and I It's not dynamat It's this here Noico Solutions and it's the 80 mil and I got 36 square feet. I think it was only like 60 bucks um, whereas If that was if that was dynamat it would have been like Easily $150 if not more for 36 square feet probably over $200. I don't know. That's just me kind of guesstimating it. So um, I still have a, quite a bit more to go. I still have to install uh, the new amp. I'm just going to use the four gauge, four gauge wiring to the amp right now since I still have time. Not that I have time. I have to wait several days for uh, some lug terminals to come in for one one-aught gauge uh, lug terminals to ground the uh, 
to power to terminal, the uh, one gauge wire, power wire to the new amp from the battery. Then it's going to the trunk, then I have to ground it. So that's another lug that I need. So I have several lugs coming in uh, these next couple of days waiting for that Amazon Prime 2D delivery to make it happen. Um, what else do I have to say? So yeah, amp right now, it's, uh, it's the uh, Wolfram Audio, the 2400 watt, like real RMS 2400 watt. Uh, YouTube it on the dyno. The thing is nuts and uh, I'm giving it four gauge right now. Four gauge power, four gauge ground. I'm not proud of it, but it's just what I have to do right now to keep bumping uh, while I uh, while I wait for the stuff to come in and do the install and I have a lot to do. So um, just so I'm bumping. So there it is again. I'm enjoying myself. Got some music on. Make it happen, Captain. All right. Uh, been doing a little bit of an install today because it's what you do after Christmas break and uh, this is it right here sound deadening my trunk I'll show you all a little bit more so this is what it's looking like uh, tough to comprehend what's happening here but since it's nighttime but that's my trunk all this uh, silver stuff is sound deadening and uh, did everything all right, so uh, here's a video of how I did the trunk. Again, I'll zoom out so you guys can see this. And uh, yeah, I'm shooting my videos and in portrait instead of landscape. <laughs> Sounds like I'm referring to paper orientation, but I'm talking about the video for in uh, layman's terms, because I don't know any better terms. <laughs> uh, and I'm uh, babbling here as I'm showing you how I did the trunk. I didn't do full coverage. This stuff goes quick. I mean, I'm down to that from 36 square feet. I'm down to that. This piece right here is actually one that'll fold out to three times that size. It's folded, you know, three times and I've got that one left. So I'm going to have to buy more to do my uh, doors. I thought 36 square feet would have been enough for everything. But um, this uh, that you're looking at here with felt, that's the cover that's going to cover all this up. Um, and I'll take an image from the side so you can see what you're looking at here. You know that's the lid it's got an l shape to it and what i did is that i really tried to really get into all these spots in there i mean it's uh that's behind the uh license plate here that goes in um there's a lot of holes in here so i don't know if you can see in here you can see that i got uh some corners we could see that again if i try to zoom in from here um what's happening in there so Really, I just did the best that I could. These areas here, you know, I'm looking for areas that have a lot of bent sheet metal. The bent sheet metal itself gives strengthens the uh, sheet metal. So I try not to waste too much uh, dampening material there. And uh, you can see it here. And what I did is that these big sheets are where you've got the inner uh, structure or inner shell uh, touching the outer shell so that's where I focused on putting more sound deadening material to kind of keep those two uh, dampening the two sheets together inner and outer shell that's what I did there same here and uh, one thing that I did that probably a lot of people don't do is that I put I put a uh, piece of uh, uh, sound deadening material on the exterior of the car I know this is weird it's uh, definitely um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for um, it's not what most people do but it's just that this panel here this interior part below you know the Mitsubishi signal or uh, symbol uh, that panel there is just from the inside I couldn't get to it so um, this is where I could do it obviously the license plate that's where the license plate goes this license plate is gonna cover that up and I'm gonna put some of the uh, uh, second skin uh, this rope uh, the sound deadening rope along the uh, perimeter of the license plate so uh, I'm sure it might not even uh, rattle touching this this has like an aluminum backing that will cut your hands check out my hands are uh, pretty cut up so uh, that happened just within the first hour of applying this stuff in my trunk uh, so now I'm using gloves uh, so uh, anybody out there take heed uh, your hands will get pretty messed up you should wear gloves and just take off the gloves whenever you really need to feel around better and just be cautious of that uh, uh, aluminum uh, backing on on the uh, 
on the sound deadening material. So anyway, just uh, wanted to show you guys how this is working out. And uh, I'm gonna put this panel back on and I mean, I already showed you guys the trunk. That's all the uh, scraps as I, as, as I took off the uh, paper backing. Um, as I've been going along here, rags as I've been cleaning. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just babbling now. Uh, see you in the next vid. Peace.